Welcome to Terrific Talk. My name is Tom Anderson. Back, back, Tom, 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 Tom Anderson. Back, 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 I'm your host, Tom Anderson. Behind the bag! It gets two bucks there! Here comes Knight and the Mets win it! Back, 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 Terrific. Steve-O. What's up, man? Where are you? Where are we calling you from today? San Fran, baby. You are... Are you running for president? Is there something you want to tell us? Like... Every week, you're in New York, you're in Seattle, Houston. What's going on? Um, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to get a pulse for the people, man. Uh, you never, you never know what's coming down the pike. All right, <laughs> no, Mr. Just, President. Uh, let's 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 uh, let's sell some socks, baby. That's that's my mission right now. <laughs> yeah, I, so I'm out here. We we work with independent sales reps around the country. So we had a, a couple reps that couldn't make this event that I was at last week in uh, in Texas, so the owner of of features and myself, we kind of administered this uh, second quote unquote West Region sales meeting yesterday with some of those guys. So you know, and then visiting some bigger accounts. So it's on the grind, man. Love it. So last week we talked, and you mentioned I don't know how you're doing this. You're, you're not at home. How are you binge watching TV? What are you watching? Um, yeah, so when I'm on the road, I'm not I'm not watching a ton of TV. Um, I did we me, Aaron and I did binge um, making a murder over Thanksgiving weekend hard. Um, you know, so I mean, we were for that. We were, we were I was off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We I took day off that Wednesday. I went out went to Disneyland with my family, which was which was well, my aunt and uncle and a couple of my cousins that live out you know, on the West Coast. So that was a lot of fun. But nice. yeah, that that uh. That Thursday, well, I guess probably like Thursday night, Friday, Saturday for sure. We put in some hard work on making a murder, and man, like I kind of hadn't been thinking about it, but now that I'm thinking about it again, it just makes me angry. Really? Because, oh my god, dude! If like you were annoyed at the, ever, if anybody was ever annoyed, frustrated with the corruption in the, in the first season, it's like heightened to the nth degree. Like. I literally was watching at points. I, I want to say at one point I'm just yelling at the television that these people are stupid. <laughs> um, it just, I don't know. It, obviously you see, we're, we're seeing the, the, the pro Stephen Avery or Brent, Brandon Dassey side of things, but it's just like, man, this is crazy. It's crazy that people got to, were able to get away with what they got away with. So, so you it, recommend it? You recommend oh, watching it? Oh yeah. Without a doubt. All right. So, it's, it's, it's a good one. It, it, it's a quick, I mean, it's, again, I, I know I've, I've discussed Aaron's, uh, binge worthy abilities in the past, but she, she was locked in for this. She's like, okay, another one start. I was like, oh, I, I didn't know if we needed a break. I didn't know we had to, you know, stretch, take a walk. So yeah. we, we, we plowed, we plowed through. Um, how many episodes? Uh, 10. Okay. I want to say, and they're, you know, I, I want to say they ran, they, they're about an hour. So. It's not nothing, nothing too crazy in terms of uh, nothing too crazy in terms of, of commitment. It's no, you know, I, I just finished um, Designated Survivor season two. That was <laughs> twenty two episodes, forty plus minutes a pop. pop which, I love that you watch Designated Survivor. Uh, I had to. I had to. <laughs> Kiefer, man, Kiefer's my guy. Once Back I started, out. I couldn't. I couldn't stop. But yeah, no, that make, making a murder was great and. Uh, Highly recommend it. Highly I gotta dive into it. What are you watching right? What are you watching right now? I'm struggling right now. I've been like, I, I haven't been in the mood. I I watched an episode of Making a Murderer, and then I, I just I couldn't I didn't get back into it, and now I'm like now I'm like, I gotta watch it. What am I doing? I, I haven't been really checking anything out. I've been reading a lot lately. I'm turning right. an old There's guy. Wrong with that. Not good. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. I did see Creed too. Please tell me you've seen this movie. Oh, dude, no, don't. What do you do, Mister do do Philadelphia? Doing, I'm doing my family honor, uh, to shame. Oh, California right changed now. you. Unbelievable. I, I know. It's, it's, it's bad. It's, it's really bad. This, this weekend, I mean, we've, so, I know I said that last weekend, 
But um, I'm trying to think of what happened last weekend. I, we just didn't get out. To, we didn't have time to get out to the movies. Um, oh, it, you know what actually it was? It might have been the fact that we had to take our dog to a neurologist. And this little bugger. So, you know, I talked to you on, on Thursday afternoon, right pre, pre-flood. Well, between my Austin, when I was in Houston, between my flights, I went from Austin to Houston to L.A. So I, so I get... I get into LA, get my bag, get a lift. You know, we we did it. We did a <laughs> pod from the lift. You know, lift should sponsor good, this podcast, good, good, good by good. the way. They, yeah, they should. They should. We're giving them some love here. So as I'm getting into the lift, I get a call from Erin, and she had like sent me a snap, and I, you know, I, was, I I just hadn't looked at it yet, and she's all frazzled. She's like, the dog. I'm like, oh my god, here we go. <laughs> what the heck happened with the dog this time? <laughs> well, you know, we've had the dog now for about a year, and she's never done this, but she, I guess, th- decided that last. Friday was the day that she wanted to pull down her food bag and open it and eat God knows how many pounds oh, of food. Because we, we have one of those monster, you know, 30, 40 pound bags of food that we just, that we just get from Chewy and, and it gets delivered and, and we're, and we're good. Yep. Um, so Aaron came home from work, let's say around like six or six thirty, And you know, the dog, when the dog does something bad, like eats stuff out of the trash can or like rips something apart. She, and you walk in, she kind of like slinks around like real low, pins herself against the wall. So like she's doing that and Aaron's like, what the heck did this dog do? Yep. So she gets into the kitchen and sees the bags open and she's like, oh my God. Panic. The dog's stomach is like distended. <laughs> like, you know, an alien was in there. So she's like, here we go. Well, we were supposed to take the dog to get an MRI the next day on Saturday because of these you know, episodes that she's been having. Right. So Aaron's like, great, this is the day that she picks. Like, cause we're supposed to faster. She can't eat past midnight, <laughs> all this drama. It's like, God damn it. So of course the dog is going to the bathroom like crazy. Killing it. And we get into the middle of the night and the dog's cl- like, we have hardwood floors. So like if she gets up in the middle of the night, you can hear her just clacking around with the nails. So Aaron's like, and I, I sleep through anything. So I didn't hear it. Aaron took her out. Nice. She peed and a couple poops. Again, she just can't. She can't contain herself. So when she brings her back in, like she gets back in the bed and I feel that. So I kind of wake up. I'm kind of lightly awake. And <laughs> all of a sudden I hear like this uh, splash. The Ooh. dog literally projectile vomited <laughs> all over the floor, all over her bed, all over the wall. It was like, oh, my God. What oh, my God. Happened? And it was, dude, like I've been around. Like it went to College out, like in running, people get, get, can run till they puke, right? Yeah, I mean, you went to Obviously. college with Liebner. You went to college with Liebner, drinking, people puke. This was the <laughs> worst smelling throat I've ever Ooh. smelled in my entire life. Like, I was gagging. I was trying to clean up. I was like, Aaron, I can't do it. Like, <laughs> I'm, oh, yeah, and I'm, like, not – I'm generally, like, fine, like, stomach-wise. Like, I don't get, like, motion sickness or anything like that, but it was just something about it that was, like, terrible. <laughs> so it's, like, 2 a.m., two, 2, between 2 and 2.30. We're meant to, like, take her to this – vet we have to get her there by 8 30 so we have that cleaned up by four the dog has to go back out again so i take the dog out pitch black mode and i'm like what like this is a nightmare yeah and you know by the time she gets back to settle back in it's like 4 30 she's still unsettled i'm like this dog like in my head i'm like this dog's gonna throw up again so i have this cleaning bucket i just kept it close a, 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 a trick that my mom used to do like me and my sisters were sick growing up she'd always have the cleaning bucket and you just puke into the bucket so Smart. you know 30 minutes later the dog's walking around and you hear the, and I was like, oh, it's, she's going to puke. So I grab the buckets, shove her face in, and just hear that, like the splash. <laughs> I was like, this is a joke, dude. Like, literally, this is a joke. Well, like, so I get the bucket, throw it out down the sewer. It was, again, foul, the terrible smell. <laughs> what, don't you know? I had, like, slippers out there. Oh, she no. Up, she, like, I got most of it in the bucket, and what I did get in the bucket, she filled up in my slippers. So those went in the trash. So, long story uh, longer, we, we go to the vet the next day. We tell the vet tech about this. He's like, yeah, we can't do the MRI today because if she's on, under anesthesia and, you know, it starts puking with a tube in her mouth, throw it down her throat, it's just not going to be a good situation. <laughs> That's not good. So, I, you know, I think we got we, – we dealt with that on Saturday night. We got home, you know, from, from taking her to this neural specialist, and we were just kind of like, you know what? F this day. Yeah. <laughs> we're just going to sit and we're going to just chill. So actually we started watching another show on Netflix, a BBC, BBC show called Luther with Idris Elba, which is awesome. Stringer Bell. Stringer Bell, baby. Uh, and it's a couple years old, but it, 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 it's a, it's a good one. He's a, he's a cop in London. Um, 
Detective Inspector in London, and yeah, that that's another good one. I, you know, cop shows. I like the cop shows, man. I heard that's good. Yeah, it's so a good one. Bottom line, so, how, yeah, how's so Lucy bottom doing? Line, bottom, bottom line, the dog has been, oh god, just killing us. I but, love uh, that this was on the night she was supposed to fast. Like that is, the night she was supposed to fast, she probably ate about eight <laughs> pounds of dog food. Like smart brilliant. dog, she knew it was coming. She, she knew, dude. Aaron has said she's like she freaking knew that we were doing something with her. Oh my god! So we we've got to take her take her back on Friday. Um, she's got to get an MRI just to see what what's going on. I mean, she's had like you know I know I talked about the one little a- episode. She's had one little one and one. You know, the first one was with the worst. Then she's had one minor one, and then she had one that's kind of like not quite as bad as the first, but uh, but borderlining that. So, you know, they're kind of just like maybe she has is epileptic somehow out of nowhere. Maybe she has meningitis. Maybe she has a brain tumor. You know, so we're Jesus. Yeah, we got to figure this thing out, man. Oh, Lucy, insurance. we love you. I'll say it again. Pet, pet insurance. Yeah, we uh, we just Tori and I have been talking about. It. You kind of convinced us that we just need to get the pet insurance. We kind of put yeah. it off for a while, but we're definitely going to need it down the line. Smart. So. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, your guys are young, so typically those those guys, Kobe, Lola, they're resilient. I mean, we don't even know. The, the the other funny thing that we're finding out finding out about Lucy is we never knew her age. She's a rescue, right? Right. So when we when we initially got her last year, they're thinking like, oh, she's maybe like five or six, and then we go to the vet, and the vet's like, well, her teeth are good, maybe she's four. You know, now we're going to places here, and like, you know, we explain the symptoms, and the one vet's like, she could be eight. I'm like, oh, wonderful. <laughs> I, have, I have no idea how old this dog is. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like a it's like a Jonas Cespedes. <laughs> yeah. No idea, no idea how old he is. Um, Ugh, we'll get better, Lucy. We'll uh, better, Lucy. we'll be thinking about her here. The Kobe, thinking about her. Kobe and Lola love Lucy, so love she, it. She needs to get better. Um, hey, I have one question for you. Yep. Uh, unrelated to this, more more, you know, we're getting into that holiday time of year. Are you are you a guy that loves all the Instagram? Not that I'm on Instagram, but I know that they get put on Instagram and Facebook photos of the crying kid on Santa's lap. Like, is that is that just something that you revel in, or are you like, please, I don't need to see that? Well, I'm gonna give you a guess. What do you think? I think that you, I think you like seeing the suffering. <laughs> I like that angle. I actually like that angle that you took. That yeah. I would like seeing the suffering. Just yeah. so like these people would be like have some pain because they're super annoying. Yeah, I can't uh-huh. I can't stand it. Yeah, I didn't. That, my gut told me that, but then when you're like, "What do you think?" It sounded kind of like there was a little sinister <laughs> to, to, to how you put it. I was like, "Oh wait, he hates he he likes seeing kids just punished." No. Oh my god, yeah, not a fan of the Christmas Instagram baby post at all. Enough people. It's just yeah. and Instagram is just awful. I, I gotta say, I'm not on it. I know. I keep telling you to get on it, and now I'm starting to use it like a little bit less. It's just like it's too much. Mm-hmm. These people are too happy. It, it's all fake. <laughs> just shut the hell up. Like it's just annoying. I don't want to see it anymore. That being said, you need to get an Instagram. Yeah, I need to get. <laughs> I need to get a good name for Instagram. <laughs> good handle. Can you get an Instagram and then just like hate on people's Santa just pictures? Troll. Yeah. Just troll everything. That's the. That the might be the play. Hate. Yeah, speaking yeah. of, uh, you know, hating things and trying to act like things are perfect, which he's apparently not acting like things are perfect anymore, finally, is our boy, is my boy, Markel Fultz. Every week. We, every week. It's amazing. Continues. We've had to talk about Markel Fultz every single week because something just crazy happens. Yep. So what is the latest? What's, what's the problem? They just, like, diagnosed some made-up thing today? What happened? Th- thoracic outlet syndrome. Common injury. Uh, common. Everyone's heard of it. So uh, it, it apparently deals with a, a nerve issue um, that he's having between his neck and shoulder, which limits his range of motion, obviously making it damn near impossible to shoot a basketball, lift his hands above his head. I mean, from from the look of it, he's suffering from something that's related to that area. I don't know if this is, again, a made-up thing. You know, it's funny. We, I was talking to Aaron about it last night because – you know, away. I was just chatting with her and reading the article to her, and she's like, she's like that. She said when I was reading the article that that kind of sealed the deal for her that it's that it's a mental thing. She said because it's a nerve issue and the nerves stem from the brain, so he has a he is mental. He's just having mental problems. I said, well, you're the neurologist, so if you say it, I I trust it. Yep. So, oh my God. By the way, could we pick a worse city for this to happen? And Markel oh Fultz, like. God. Philadelphia fans are not going to be very sympathetic. I just have a feeling. Yeah. 
no. And I mean, I'm trying to be sympathetic. Like, you know, the other day we we're watching the game. Um, I guess Sunday night we played the Grizzlies. Um, so I'm watching the game, and you know, I I, I liked his. I like his energy. He's the first guy off, off the bench greeting the guys coming in from timeouts. He's, he's you know, che- cheering on the sidelines. Good to see. Yep. Good to see. You know, like, he could be mopey. Aaron's kind of like, who cares? He's he can't play. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to, like, give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Um, but he's going to miss another three to six weeks. And and there's nothing that – Which, by the way, isn't that long. Like if he, It's not that long. Is he going to yeah. come back in three to six weeks? Is that happening, you think? I, I don't think so. I mean, if he's back by – February one. I'm happy. I'm. I guess I. I that's kind of what I'm. What I would target. Would, yeah. Would be my thought. Um. You know. But then reading about it, it's like, oh, the only way to treat this is physical therapy. It's kind of like so. Like there's no. Hey, put your arm in a mobilizer. Hey, get a sling. Hey, do, like it's just like, all right, go through range of motion exercises, and it's kind of like what? Like what? I know. It's yeah. It's 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 kind of frustrating at this point. I mean. I think I, I did text you, though, a few weeks back that we were looking like we are starting to gel, and I thought we were going to go on one of those, like, 10 straight runs or win 12 or 13 or 15. And yep. Big game tonight. I mean, it's probably tipping off or probably just tipped off. So that will be a, a decider. But, I mean, we're, we're, on a, we're on a pretty hot streak right now. Um, Jimmy Jimmy Butler is – Jimmy Buckets. Is, is Jimmy Buckets. He's won, won us two games at the buzzer. You know, again, early game, we're up 7-6 right now over the, over the Raptors. Um, so, again, still plenty of game left to play. However, if we can th- – th- this is one where, you know, for this team to, to take it to the next level to kind of be considered one of the elite four or five teams in the league, like this is a game that they have to win. I know they're on the road, but, you know, you just you got to kind of try to get these, these done. And, you know, like I said, we're – Last ten games were eight and two, so we're, we're we're finding our groove. Thirteen and one at home, still protecting the home court, which is good to see. Yep. Nets, by the way, I miss Karis so much. I'm just oh, I'm just absolutely devastated. Like it was like a promising year. It was a fun team to watch. Yep. Without Karis, it's just it's been awful. They've lost seven in a row. They just yep. lost a heart. I mean, all these games have been super close. Like the point differential is insane. They're losing games by two points every night. They lost yeah. to Cleveland last night, which was just devastating. I was like, how the yeah, hell do we lose to Cleveland? We did that too, so I, I feel your pain there. It's unbelievable. But yeah, I'm 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 extremely disappointed. I guess we gotta tank now. Try to get it try to get that high first round pick. I just don't know. I don't know what we're doing. They're in all the games and they're fighting hard, which I love to see. Like they're still they're so close. They're in every mm-hmm. single game, no matter who the opponent is, but they're just oh, losing. What is this team gonna look like next year? You're I mean I mean, you, you know, think Kar- about it. You got Karis, Karis coming and- off a pretty serious injury, but not as bad as it could have been. Like, is D'Angelo Russell going to get re-signed, or has he been re-signed? Have I missed any? He's still any under. He'll, I think he's still under contract next One year. One more year. Yep. Okay. Um, and then you throw KD in the mix, and it's a pretty solid yeah. team. You know, Brooklyn. Let's go. Why not? KD, KD and Kyrie. See, KD said that uh, he didn't know why his stars would want to go play with LeBron and the Lakers. See that? <laughs> Yep. So maybe no KD to the Lakers next year. Yeah, we, I, I think we, I think we saw, knew that that was never going to happen. I agreed, but everyone was saying like, "Oh, there's a chance you could go team yeah, up with LeBron and the Lakers." But yeah, he basically he basically said what like it doesn't make he said it won't doesn't make sense for Kawhi Leonard to go play with the Lakers and LeBron because he's a guy who wants to run the offense through. He wants to have the ball in his hands. It doesn't make sense for Kawhi to go there. So. If yeah. Kawhi's not going there, KD's definitely not going there. I thought it was interesting. Yeah, that, that is interesting. You, just, you wonder. I know that Kyrie is committed. That or said that he can't come out to say that he want he would stay long term with the Celts, but maybe KD and Ky- Kyrie get together just to kind of stick it to LeBron. Who knows? Curry back. It's time for the Warriors to go on a run, right? Yeah, dude. They've been they've been talking about a team in a hurt locker, dude. Oof. Crazy. Um, Crazy, and then the craziest thing still is that they're just one game out of it in the West for the number one seed. Well, that's the crazy thing. The West really is wide open right now. It's, wide open. It's crazy. Like I, I could see the Lakers being a two seed. Honestly, they're five now, two games back, fourteen and nine. They're hot, seven and three, the last ten. I mean, LeBron's. They looked a little sketchy to start off, but yeah. I mean, I, I think that I think both of us agreed that. It's early for LeBron. He's filling out. He was feeling out the team. He's kind of getting getting his rhythm. I, I, I wasn't. The last person I would be worried about would be LeBron. 
Shout out to the Oklahoma City Thunder, who have also been playing really well. You know, they yep. got they got off to that terrible start. Russell Man, got. We were bashed. Yeah, we were. We bashed. were killing them. They, they looked horrible. Russell got hurt, and then they started winning games when Westbrook was out, and he'd come back. And, you know, he's missed a triple-double again, and Paul George is playing great, Steven Adams. They look really good. Another team we got to shout out is Dallas Mavericks, who are playing a lot better. Luka Doncic, bro. Yeah. Rookie hey, of the I, year. I think I think we went over. over. Their, what, their over-under was like 35, 31, 35. Yeah, we liked it. Like we liked and it. We, we went over, I believe, because we kind of just felt like Dirk's last season, young pup, DeAndre Jordan. They're gonna, they're gonna. So I'm feeling good about that one. Let's switch gears here to the NFL. I yeah. will, I will throw you, I will throw you a bone here. You had a win against the Redskins, Mark Sanchez. You beat Mark Sanchez. Congratulations. At least he didn't butt fumble. Yeah, that's a that's a win for him. How good are you feeling about the Eagles now? They won one game here against Mark Sanchez. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, guys, uh, every, all, all listeners, the Eagles have officially won two games in a row this year. It's, Look it's out. a miracle. <laughs> but start a parade, parade, parade part two. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's one of those things we look, it, it's, it's the Redskins, so you gotta take it with a grain of, grain of salt, right? But that second half, we, we started to look good. I mean, we didn't even look, in my opinion, that good in the first half. No. The AP rips off this 90 yard run. I'm like, how can no one in our defensive secondary catch Adrian Peterson at the age of 30, whatever? Fantasy. Uh, yeah, he exploded. He put on the Jets, man. But um, and, and then we're just having to, like my my biggest pet peeve. I love Andy Reid. Don't get like I, he, he's he's well, probably best coach in Eagles history at this point, or at least that I've obviously lived with. And my my biggest pet peeve with him would always be like I. I never wanted it to be first and goal inside the five because mm-hmm. every single time we always would be kicking a field goal. Like I would have rather it be like second and, and eleven from the from the nineteen. I'm like, okay, yeah, we can we can score we can score a touchdown now. First and goal from the five or in, no chance. And we had two we had that twice this past you know, this past weekend. Carson Wentz throws a pick on first and goal. That was and awful. Then, yep. And then, you know, so my thing, I was talking to my dad about this yesterday. Um, you have, you have Adams, um, who is a six foot three, 225 pound back. Like he's, he's, he's a big boy. Like first and goal to two, give him the football or better yet, you have a six foot five, 240 pound quarterback. First and goal to two, fall forward once. And then if you don't get in, fall forward twice. Yeah. Like, and I don't understand why when you're that close, you're six feet from the end zone. And you turn around and run four yards back to give the ball away, or you take a five step drop to drop to throw the ball. It's like it it, it, it was my biggest pet peeve with Andy Reid, and I've kind of Doug Peterson hadn't been doing that, but he he did it twice this weekend. I was like having having deja vu, bad deja vu. Um, you know, that being said, I think the second half we we started looking better again. You're playing against the Redskins defense, a little bit different than what the Cowgirls is going to show us this, this week, but. I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm, I'm an ever optimist, right? I, I, we should. I think we should beat this team. We should beat the cow, cowgirls. You know, that's the case. We're both seven and six. I think we would hold a tiebreaker because we technically would have a better in division record. We would split our heads to head, our head to head matchups. Yeah. Um. You know, so we slide into that four seed. The, the thing is killing me is the fact that we blew these games against the Panthers and the Titans because this it would just be a totally different season. Um, and the Bucks. Yeah, the, well, the Bucks. I mean, the Bucks jumped us, and we we just couldn't couldn't catch back up. I mean, the Panthers and the Titans we were beating by double digits in the fourth quarter, mm-hmm. and we ended up losing. It's kind of like you have got to be shitting me, but. You know, again, we we control our own destiny at this point. I, I don't I don't see us winning out. You know, that Rams game in LA um, in a week and a half is going to be a tough one. Obviously, the Texans are we we talked about them last week are rolling. They're on fire. I'm really on impressed. Fire. That was impressive what they did to Cleveland. They just took care of business at home. Yeah, Deshaun Watson's playing great. Yep, he is. You know, so but you know, at the end of the day, we control our own destiny. Uh, the cow the cowboy cowgirls, as as you know, I like to call them. They've got they've got us. Um, I mean, I know I touched on it last week. Of course, they win that damn game against uh, the Saints last week. Like crazy. If, if ever I'm like, you know, I'm not, obviously the Saints, we play against the Saints. I'm, I was a little miffed by 
uh, Alvin Kamara calling out the Eagles, saying that they would have beaten them if they made the NFC Championship last year. But I was a big time Saints fan last weekend. Of course, you know they shit the bed. But you now Cowboys got us. They've got us. They've got the Colts. They've got the Bucks. They've got the Giants. Um, you know, I think our schedule is obviously tougher down the stretch. Um, but at the end of the day, if we can, if we can kind of get this win and, and just take it week by week. We're in a good position. It, it's going to be interesting, though. These these final playoff uh, playoff spots, wild card spots for both divisions. Um, it, it's looking like the teams that tied earlier in the year are going to be able to sneak into the into the playoffs. The Vikings and the Steelers, just out of the sheer fact that they don't have that extra loss in their record. That's true. Um, you know, you've got four teams. You've got Steelers at seven seven four and one. You've got Ravens. Seven and five. Well, I guess the Steelers are technically winning the division, so they're in. Sorry, missed but, but Vikings for sure. You know they're they're that six and six five and one team. You've got three teams behind them at six and six. Bucks at five and seven. Packers at four seven and one. Um, yeah, my my kind of out there thought is if Aaron Rodgers now kind of gets gets a little gets a little mojo because he's upset of, you know he's happy with the release of Mike McCarthy do uh can they go 8-7 and 1 and make the playoffs because an 8-1 team an 8-8 eight eight team they technically would trump I don't know just just putting it out there I don't see it I don't see it either um I don't you know, see I, it I, I I like it I like where you're going with that I yeah. just the way they've played all season long I don't I maybe this will energize them I think Rodgers is hurt maybe. Uh, you know, we got hurt at the beginning of the season. It's kind of just lingered. Yeah. They're, and they made all those trades ahead of the deadline. Seems like they were kind of selling. Sell mode, yeah. But that was a, just a pathetic, pathetic loss against the Cardinals at home. I mean, what are you yes. doing? You, That's it, terrible. Yeah, McCarthy had to go, I think. You know, maybe they could have waited till the end of the season. A little dramatic. Yeah. But uh, he was going. He was on his way out. But that that is an interesting thing if if the Packers can go on a run because all these teams fighting for that last spot are all dicey. I mean Minnesota yeah. is just I I don't get it. They're just dicey. I think Kirk Cousins isn't that great. I but maybe no, I don't think he's good. I think I've been wrong this whole. Time. I've been defending Kirk for a while. I thought you know he's just in a bad situation with the Redskins. He's super talented. But in the big games, the games they really needed to win, he hasn't shown up yet in Minnesota. Yeah, it's it's one of those like like I said this this tie is going to be it's going to that, that who that tie either Vikes or Packers depending on how the re- next couple weeks go that that team will be the sixth seed I think yeah um you know the the Vikings have the Seahawks the Dolphins the Lions the Bears so that you know Seahawks and Bears you know just just got to take it game by game but right there they're they're going to go two and two potentially they're strong Again, they're in. But you know, then I. But I. Th- I think at this point, the six teams that are in for the NFC. So you got Rams, Saints, Bears. Leave the NFC East blank for now. Hawks, Vikes. I think that <laughs> they will be the five teams. I think obviously it'll be Cowboys or Eagles. At, at, uh, skins aren't doing it. What happened to the um, Panthers, dude? Oh my God, meltdown! Complete meltdown. meltdown. Cam threw yeah, like a hundred interceptions. Tampa Bay yeah. went all over him. Vegas knew. They they knew. They knew, and and they've got the Saints twice in the last three weeks. So I mean, I I, I think that you could kind of you could kind of say that the the unbelievable the fork, the fork has has been stuck in them. Um, you know, again, they they could pull out a, one of those, but I, I don't think the Saints now now with the Saints losing to the Cowboys, I don't think that they're gonna go they're gonna pull off the gas. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. I think that they're gonna they want the one seed. Lit, lit the fire, and they're gonna want to try to go after that one seed. Um, but. Um, you know, like I said, I think I think at this point, Rams, Saints, Bears, Seahawks. I think Eagles, Cowboy, Cowgirls. It'll be the, the, this weekend. will be a deci- big time decider for that. And you know, again, I think it'll be the Vikes for, just because of that tie. Again, I don't know what the head to head for Vikings and Packers are. Let's see, Packers won, and then they tied. So right. the Packers would have the tie break because they they tied the one game, but then they. The Packers won the next head-to-head. So if it goes 8-7-1, Packers-Vikings, Packers get in. So There's a chance. Even though they're the 11th seed, the, they, even though they're the, the, they are the 11th seed of those five, seven through 11, excluding the Birds because they're in the hunt for the, the, the division, they're probably, in my opinion, the, the team that has the next best shot to slide in. 
and leapfrog. I mean, they have to leapfrog five, four team, five teams, but I think that they could do it. Um, AFC a little bit different. You know, I think obviously you've got the four, the you know the four outright Chiefs, Pats, Texans, Chargers, Steelers, Ravens. One of those teams is going to win that division. So, um, you know, I think whatever team doesn't win gets. I, I I almost think that 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 race that playoff race is locked up. I think that those are the six teams. I don't see the Dolphins get in. They've got to play the Packers, the Vikings. You know, then they get Jacks, Bills. The only one with a chance to get in, I think, Colts. is the Colts. Yeah, yeah. That but was they have a Texans, a, Cowboys. Yeah. That'll be a tough two two stretch two week stretch. It is. They and that was just a really really weird loss to the Jaguars. I mean, I can't. How did they get shut out? Six zero or something. Yeah, it was weird. Six nothing. That was super weird. Angel like it shut shut out. Like that was that was weird. From, from a scheduling perspective, looking at the remaining teams to play, the Broncos have the 49ers, the Browns, the Raiders, the, and the Chargers. I mean, to me, that's a nine and seven at at worst. Yeah, I those are all kind of winnable games. They did just the lose Emmanuel Sanders for the year, which I think is yeah. going to really hurt their offense. So that's that's troubling. It's a good point. Now the Titans, they've got. Jags, your your squad, the, the midgets, then the skins and the colts. Stop it. I know. Sorry. I, yeah, you know, I have to slide that the in. The midgets. Jag, Jags, G men, skins, colts. I mean, that's Tennessee sucks. One. I, I know, but there's, dude, there's no way they are. They are like Doctor. They are the ultimate Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde football team this year. It's insane. It is. It is but insane. Like, they're not making the playoffs. I will guarantee go, you. But that. they they could go four and zero there down the stretch. No and chance. Then ten and six. No, that's not happening. There's no way the Titans are a ten and six team. I'm telling you, I've watched them closely now the last yes. couple of weeks. They burned yep. me. I, I'm yep. super anti Titans. I'm not buying uh, it at all. I'm telling you. Yeah, I hate the Titans too. They physically, they they single handedly could have been the reason that the Eagles aren't going to make the playoffs. They're the so. midgets. The Titans are the midgets. <laughs> They're definitely not uh, the gods or. Titans exactly. And the gods. Isn't that like the Hercules combo? Whether you're a Titan or a God. Big mythology guy here. We like that yeah, on the Let's go. Let's go. Uh, and, and no love for the Dolphins, bro. No, dude. <laughs> uh, they got they they go pack Packer uh, the Packers. They go Patriots Vikings next two weeks. Like they're gonna be they're gonna be six and eight real quick. Yep. I, and I mean they have Jack Bills to close out, but I, I don't I think I don't think you could be an eight and eight. T- team and make the playoffs in the AFC. Again, I, you can't be an 8-8 eight eight team on, on the NFC East, in my opinion, either, and, or NFC, and, and make the playoffs. I think you got to be you got to be 9-7, and seven, or you got to be the Vikings or pa- Packers that have that, that tie that gets you to an 8-7, 8-7-1. Seven, seven It'll be, it, it's going to be a fun, fun couple weeks. I, I, I will be plugged into just football. I will not be plugged into fantasy because my team is just... Are you done? More, and I'm, I'm in the consolation playoff round. Oh, uh, Brutal. Apologies. Dude, I, I had a, uh, I had a, just a brutal, I, I feel like I've said that, said on the pod a few weeks ago, I was playing the worst team in the league. Um, and my team is just like never clicked. Like I got, I, I have Carson Wentz as a QB, I have Rivers as a QB, and like one of my first picks, first pick for me, which was like 11th, 11th pick in the first round was Keenan Allen, cause I'm kinda like, oh, I'm gonna have Rivers and the Rivers and Keenan Allen hookup is gonna be sick. Yep. Well, it was, the Rivers and Keenan Allen hookup was only sick for this week and this week only. Um, you know, I think each of them, uh, combined scored about 50 points for my team, which was what I was expecting that they would do throughout the year. Um, I did so that I just, combo one. I never like having the, the QB receiver combo. I, uh, I, I tried I that one year. I did it with Stafford and Calvin Johnson. And I was yeah. like, this is just going to tear people up. And, you know, they were normally like a 7-9, and 8-8 eight and eight team. So they would be really good for half the season and just crappy for the other half. And if yeah. one if one has a bad game, you're just you're screwed. It just yeah, kills the point. team. Yeah. So next year I don't think I'm going to be doing that. But, you know, this year I did. And No, so it was worth week. a shot. I mean, that makes sense. Keenan was and like then, you know, top three receiver last high, year. Yeah. yeah, and Chargers are always a high-scoring offense. But, you know, a couple weeks ago I, I was up. Going into the Monday night game by a lot, or not, not a lot. Sunday and Monday night, I think I had a 20 plus point buffer. This guy who's got no one in his team has someone kind of somewhat go off on Sunday night. I'm like, ah, well, he only has Sterling Shepard left and he's got to score 10 points to beat me. You know, and it was that game. And I know you watch this game where Sterling Shepard did zero, <laughs> zero. He had one catch for three yards until the last drive of the game when he ripped off a 25 yard run and then had a 
one yard catch for one yard for the game winning touchdown at the end of the game, and that beat, ended up beating me by two tenths of a point. Ooh, love and it. And that 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 kind of stuck a fork in my season because then I was playing the two best, the two hot, like two best teams. The next, there are three of the next three, three of the four best teams in the league. The next four weeks, and I wasn't going to get any anything. So I'm the ninth seed. I got to be in the toilet bowl bracket which is kind of frustrating because i had a good draft it just injuries man they always creep up so my playoffs what about you yeah you are you, i mean i know that you you started off rough you got hot Did you stay hot i started off real cold i was one and four to start the season i'm all the way up to seven and five now look at you the resurgence so yeah we dug deep this season and uh our playoffs start not this weekend but the following weekend and the top so four. So you go week four, what, thir- 15, 16, 17? No, there's only two rounds of playoffs. Only, oh, you do too. Only, okay. yeah, only four teams make the playoffs out of the okay. 10. Okay. So I'm right on the, I have the four seed right now. Wow. And I am playing the five seed. Oh, this is it. And we have the same record. Oh, boy. And the five seed is, is almost kind of my arch nemesis in the league. I, I, who is it? This guy, Tim. I don't think you've ever met him. Uh, he uh, he's he talks a lot of trash. I get a lot of fantasy text messages from him, just talking uh-huh. trash. I beat him every single season. It's my favorite thing in the world to do. <laughs> it's it's like a ritual. Like at, he was at the Thanksgiving dinner thing I was at the other day, and he has two like young kids, and they were asking him at the dinner table. They were like, "Are you gonna ever beat Tom in fantasy?" And this is like during my hot streak, and it was like so good. I could just, I could tell it was eating at him. It's killing him. Oh yeah, he was, he was burning up inside. But we're playing each other this and his week. His kids were doing that to him. Oh yeah, that's even better. Yeah, no, I'm a legend in uh, fantasy circles. You know this. Yeah, I know. So anyway, so the playoffs are this weekend. We got to talk about it. Yeah, give me your squad. I got to know who I'm rooting for. You want to know? You yeah, the to... listeners want to know too. Come on, we got, we got, we got to get behind them. I'm, I'm, I'm playing the toilet bowl, man. I, uh, I'm in meaningless fantasy right now. All right, real quick. Do you want to hear three names that are on my fantasy team this season? I never really noticed it until Go. now. Go. My team should basically just be called High Character. Okay. High Character, love it. So. Oh no, you have Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt, star. Oh no. Star player. Yeah, not a great oh, time no. for this to happen, Kareem. Oh. Yeah. Um, also, uh, on the team, maybe honorable mention, I got Jameis. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> another, another high quality, uh, character guy. And rounding it out, of course, I got AP. AP. For discipline, you know? AP, AD. Did he, didn't he come out like a couple weeks ago and say he's still hitting his kids with yeah. a belt or something like that? Uh, quote of the year. Quote, <laughs> quote of the year. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's the kind of Instagram post I want to see. Yeah. Not, not the Santa stuff, just, Terrible no. stuff from AP. So anyway, yeah. So I lost Kareem Hunt. So when that all went down, did you grab Sharkand? They just picked up Sharkandrick West, I think, right? Or are they? Are they? Is Spencer they're, Ware? They're rolling with now? Spencer Ware. And I immediately, I was like, oh, I gotta go get Spencer. He was already gone. Yeah, of course. Somebody already got him. Did Tim get him? Tim did not get him. Thank God, because that would really sting. Let me let me pull up the matchup here this week. Show you who we got. He's got a pretty good team. I'm a little. I want to know who I'm rooting for and who I'm rooting against. Exactly. I'm a little nervous. I, I got it. So, so you rolling Jameis as QB for the weekend, dude? Without, no, of course you are. Without question, Jameis. Go look up the stats. I'm telling you, he's been the top three fantasy quarterback every single week. And when he's not in, Fitzpatrick has. Yeah. Every single week, and he's. I think he's gonna have another great week this week. Yeah. Which is crazy. Like, he's terrible, but fantasy-wise, he's killing it. He's getting four touchdowns, like, every week. He just bombs it at the end of the game. They're, well, that was, that was Blake, Blake Bortles for me. I played against him a few weeks ago, and he, the Jaguars were getting destroyed, and he just was marching down the field because, I don't know, I forget who they were playing, but they just weren't playing defense, and he's just like, touchdown. Touch, I'm like, this is a joke. But, Dude, monster. <laughs> Dude, God. All right, so here's my squad. I'm rolling with Jameis at QB. Mm-hmm. Wide receivers, I got Juju with the Steelers. Killing it. T.Y. Hilton. Killing it. Hopefully he plays. Oh, is he hurt? He he got a little banged up yeah, on, on right Sunday. Say that. I yeah, think he'll right. be okay. But then I got Jimmy Graham is my tight end. Really, yeah. just I'm still pissed at Jimmy Graham. Not a good season. Jeez. Again, I, I, 
I was texting my my uh, Matthew via Aaron Rodgers on a place QB. I said, hopefully, uh, hopefully he comes out angry at, to prove a point that you know McCarthy gone is a good sign for the for the Packers. So maybe maybe he'll find Jimmy. You gotta bite your tongue because Tim has Aaron Rodgers. Oh no! I know. Can the timing be any worse? And oh no! No yeah, again! And they're, again, Dave Rod. They're playing Atlanta. I'm really nervous. Oh no! Well, hopefully every he throws two or three touchdowns to Jimmy Graham. Oh yeah, first time this season be good. Yep. I got the. I I have a question for you. So I I have the Houston Texans defense. Yep. Strong. They're yep, playing. Very strong. They're playing the Colts this week. I I, <laughs> I have a potential gamble here. I picked it up. This would be just so, this is so ironic. The defense I picked up this week, none other than the dumpster fire Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Bills. They are wow. playing. Who the, are they playing? They're playing the Jets this week. Oh my God! I know. Can I? Will I? Do I have the balls to put the Bills in a must-win game? The dumpster wow. fire Bills. Oh my God! I gotta think about that one. Yeah, I gotta get back to you. Yeah, That's, I know. I mean, we'll we'll talk Sunday for sure. That's, it's it's a nerve-wracking decision, but oh I I picked God. him up just so I'd have it. I'd have to think about it. I gotta think about Houston, it. Houston has the Colts, right? Houston has the Colts. Home or away? They're home. They're at. They're home. They're and in Houston. Bills are. Bills, Bills are, are away. Too, right? Bills, no, they're away. Bills are away. Wow, that's an intriguing. That's an intriguing uh, it is. situation you find yourself in there. It is. All right, let me read you the running backs here. I it would have. I had the best one two combo. Yeah, you had, yeah. I had Kareem, and I also had Christian McCaffrey, who is just lighting up the NFL right now. Yeah, he's he's, he's he killed me a couple weeks ago. He's been killing it. And then I've got AP. And then there's the flex, and I made another pickup, which is a, it's a little uh, concerning. I picked up Jalen Samuels. Do you have yeah, any from Pittsburgh? From, uh, oh, Pittsburgh, yeah, 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 yeah. So they uh, Connor went down or whatever. He's out. So I picked up Jalen Samuels. I think you play him. I think I play him too. I think you play him. So. Yeah, those could be two key pickups for the week, the Buffalo Bills and Jalen Samuels. Let me go over. Hey, Mr. GM. I'm trying, man. I'm going for it. After that awful start, I'm I'm not I'm trying to keep this thing going. Cream Hunt, you can't take me down. You going to you have to go through the champ. You come with the Dude, champ. The, the That's not me. The Steelers are playing against the Raiders, man. Like Juju or Samuels, they're going to get two to three t- they're going to get three touchdowns combined, I think. Let's go. I like to hear that. So Tim here has Aaron, this is a tough team, dude. He's got a Raj. Running backs, he's rolling with Zeke. Oh, I hate Zeke. He's got Lindsey. Birds are going to shut him down. He's, dude, Lindsey, man, he had, a, he had a year. I'll give it to him. I Runner up, rookie of the year. Yeah. You know I'm giving it to Saquon. Come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah he so, definitely deserves it. So, but those are two very good running backs, which yeah. scares me to go along with Raj. Then he's also got Lamar Miller. He's playing in the flex. So three pretty good running back. Lamar Miller's nothing special, but who knows? Yeah. Risky. Yeah, but, I mean. Wide receivers. Against the Colts. I mean, the Colts are stingy against the, against the, the RB. So you, you, may be, you may be all right there. Leonard is a f- savage. Let's go. Rookie of the year on the defensive side, I, I, would, I would probably say. Yes, for definitely. The Colts. Definitely. He's been incredible. Um, receivers. Wide outs. Julian Edelman. I have Edelman. He, he he catches balls, man. He's he's a high target man. That's why I always get him. And for your ten and six Titans, Corey Davis. Oh yeah, no, I mean, I, dude, I think your team is better. Who's his tight end in defense? His tight end is Jared Cook on Oakland. Yeah, he's tough, dude. He's tough. That makes me a little nervous. Yep. And the defense is the Carolina Panthers. Okay. In Cleveland. Um, Oof. It's close. Yeah, that'll be a. I, I mean, I think your team. I think your team's better. Like just looking at it on paper. Um, you know, I think obviously Zeke's a great running back, but, but Christian McCaffrey just catches so many balls out of the back. Like well, he, he had eleven catches a couple weeks ago. Crazy. Like in the week I played him, it was like you got to be effing kidding me. How um, is the Eagles defense going to do against Zeke here? Dude, I, I think this is. I mean, it's a must-win game. Um, I think that. I think that we're gonna. 
I, I think it's going to be one of those slugfest battles. I don't, I don't think it's going to be this high scoring affair where he's going to be getting in the end zone three times. I, I again, I, th- I think I, NFC, the NFC East, as you know, those those matchups can go. It, it's like a 38-35 game, or it's like a 17-14 game. You know what I mean? Yep. Let's keep it low I'm, scoring. Let's grind it I'm out. Think, I'm, I'm thinking it might be low scoring, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I'd like. I, w- I, I wish that they developed an app. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll start something here where you could bet on your own on your friends' fantasy football games. Like oh. you bet on regular football. Why not bet on fantasy football games? That is a great call. I love that idea. Can we do that? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Terrific, terrific bets. We're going to call it. Don't steal that idea, people out there. That's ours. Copyrighted. I'm I'm, I'm writing up an NDA right now. Thank you. (laughs) We'll talk Sunday about this key, key decision on Houston versus Buff. I can't believe we're we're thinking Buffalo. This is incredible. The dumpster fire bills. Liebner's going to lose his mind. It's great. And I'll ask Solly, too. What do you think since they're playing the Jets? We should, we'll get we'll get a group text going. Yeah. We'll, we'll start a group text on Saturday night, and, and, we'll, and we'll, we'll we'll pull the people. That that's we're about the people here. That's what we do. Yeah, we'll do a poll. Terrific poll. Send our yeah, love. Hunt. It's it's that's a tough that's a uh, tough loss, man. It's, such an idiot. What are you doing? He's an idiot. How do you, how do you like? So my my thing here is like, you know, he's young. He's they're drink people are drinking. Get it? How does he just not have like once like every, like one of the group? If they if they're gonna go go nuts, just have one of his boys just be the designated one to like police the decision making. You know, it just I know. Um, yeah, but uh, the, definitely. Has, I mean, definitely has anger issues. What they there was a then it came out about a, an incident in the club in January where he got violent, and then another incident where maybe he didn't get violent, but there was some kind of. There was some disagreement. Yeah. So it's these, there's a pattern. I, it, football's a violent game. You have to have, kind of have a different. You have to kind of have a screw loose to want to get repeatedly hit in the head a lot. It's it's a tough situation. Just you know, at that point, like man, don't go out of the room. Stay in the room if you have if they have an issue with someone. I mean, the whole situation is just kind of like I don't know. I I grew up with two sisters. Um, it's just kind of not <laughs> not uh, not something that i'm about but like shit man just stay in the room get get them to clear the girl out if you have an issue with it just don't engage that and because never nothing ever nothing ever good is going to come from engaging with in that situation no and it's horrible i i think he's got to be done i mean the nfl has to take a stand with this stuff like it just yeah. it has to be a zero tolerance policy you just you can't yeah. do this it's unacceptable it's horrible and I, yeah he's done i think he's done but do you totally think he's done? You don't think he's back in the league in a year? I think it's going to be tough for him to come back. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I I wouldn't put it past teams to to take I, a I shot. Was, I was partly surprised that he that no no one picked him up on, up on waivers. To be honest, I, w- I was part like, again. I'm not saying that they should have. I'm just kind of partly surprised no one did. Especially like Ruben Foster gets picked up by the Skins. Like, and, and I'm kind of thinking like, man, no one's going to pick up Cream Hunt. But it's bad, man. To just you know reinforce. Don't. How many times as a little kid, if I was fighting with my sisters, it's just like, don't put your hand on a woman. Like, don't put your hand on a girl. Don't put your hand on a woman. It's like, oof. Yep. Kind of basic, but. Well, thanks for ending the podcast on a light note. Appreciate it, dude. We're dude. We're all about taking down Tim. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Tim is going down. A Rod, everything's going to Jimmy G. Oh, all man. day. A Rod should just sit it out. You're not making the playoffs. Save yourself for next season, the new coach. Yeah, he's, got, he's, he's got that busted ankle. You know what I mean? He, just, he, he should get some R&R. Seriously. Go, huh? hang, go hang out with Danica. Exactly. Don't take any chances, eh, Rob? All right. Steve, thank you. Everybody, thank you for listening to the pod. Go check it out. Go subscribe on iTunes. Leave a comment. Check Steve out on his soon-to-be Instagram page. <laughs> we don't know what it is yet. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you and tr- next And week. trust the process. The Sixers up one. Let's go. Oh, boy. Big game against Toronto. We'll see who wins that one. All right. Kobe.